Assalamualaikum guys So hari ni Encik uh, nak review satu filem ni Filem ni filem komedi uh, Komedi dari British Dia dah keluar kat Pawagam tahun 2009 lagi so, Filem ni nama dia The Boat That Rocks Ha rock Yang rock tu rock Okay So tepat dengan misi kita orang Kita orang kena relate kan Communication system yang kita orang belajar uh, Dengan sebuah filem So filem ni sangat bertepatan lah Sebab dia pakai Dia banyak guna uh, radio Iaitu FM lah FM frequency Sebelum tu saya nak cerita sikit Pasal dia orang so, Filem ni menisahkan pasal Carl uh, Umur dia 17 tahun So dia ni kena buang sekolah Kena buang sekolah So lepas tu uh, Dia dihantar kepada ayah angkat dia Nama dia Quentin Ini dia pengasas kepada uh, Pirate Radio Kenapa pirate? Sebab dia tidak berdaftar. Tidak berdaftar dengan BBC, uh, radio tempatan lah. Sebab apa dia orang buat pirate radio ni? Sebab dia orang nak mainkan lagu lagu rock dengan lagu hip hop. Masa tu tahun 1966, so classical music tu adalah lagu yang dia orang selalu siarkan lah. So dia orang wujudkan pirate radio nak ketengahkan lagu rock dengan lagu hip hop ni. Lepas tu yang paling narik kan, yang paling narik dia buat kat mana tau? Dia buat kat atas kapal. So, dia broadcast radio tu atas kapal. Dekat laut. Ke? Laut utara British. Ha, jom kita tengok video. Are you doing something dirty? Hmm? Are you doing something your parents don't know about? <laughs> Are you breaking the law? <laughs> Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to talk about the radio, so it basically was invented in 1895, invented by a man, Italian man, named Borghino Marchini. Invented when he first invented it, he called it the wireless telegraph. Uh, he used radio waves to transmit Morse code, and the instrument he used became known as the radio. So, radio basically works by changing sounds or signals into radio waves which travel through air space air and space and solar and radio receiver changes them back into the sounds words and music we can hear for example so how broadcasting radio works beginning with basics radio broadcasting, broadcasting performs a single transmission that is carried through radio waves with the intention of reaching an audience so it's basically signal which is carried and transmitted through the radio waves. This wireless transmission is actually electromagnetic energy uh, that is transferable through space, allowing information like sound to travel while it's modulated. These radio waves then come into contact with an electrical conductor that causes certain fields to emit an alternating current where the waves can be transformed into the original form. In order of this process to take place, there must be first be a radio transmitter that can manipulate the sound. Uh, and as interesting component of to radio is that there are different signals waves that can be transmitted. There are different signals can be transmitted. There were AM and FM radio is derived. So let's talk now about more about the positive impacts that radio can have. So. One of the first things and most important things that uh, uh, as a positive impact the radio can have is advertising is less expensive compared to a TV or even a press. Radio is the least expensive across traditional advertising media. Radio is most accessible and portable uh, compared to the other media or be able to adapt more quickly uh, to listeners, changing listeners' habits. Radio is more easily targeted with simultaneously both a healthy and younger, older, and, and older listening profile. So, radio is basically the theater of the mind. It demonstrates the power of spoken words and ability of the mind, ability of the audio alone to create a powerful imagination and a vivid picture of, in the mind of the listener. And that, that's all. Thank you.
sound is first converted into electric signals with a microphone. After modulation and amplification, signals are sent through the air as electromagnetic radio waves using antennas. During modulation, input signals are combined with electrically induced radio waves, as transmission is only effective if the frequency of the carrier wave is much higher than that of the input signal. When the amplitude of the carrier wave is changed in accordance with the intensity of the signal, the process is called amplitude modulation, or AM. When the frequency of the signal is changed according to the intensity of the signal, the process is called frequency modulation, or FM. AM signals are used for long-distance broadcasting. These waves can travel thousands of kilometers, as the upper layer of the atmosphere and the ground reflect them multiple times. AM signals are subject to static and interference, however. That's why AM broadcasting tends to be noisier. The main parts of the radio are the tuner, located in the integrated circuit, the demodulator, the amplifier, and the speaker. The tuner is used to search for the frequency of the station we wish to listen to. The demodulator, also called the detector, demodulates the radio signal selected by the tuner by separating it from the carrier wave. The wave is then amplified in the amplifier and transmitted to the speaker. Here, electric signals cause the membrane in the speaker to vibrate and create sound waves.